Hi, this is Cybridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and today on this very gloomy uh, lockdown January Sunday I'm here all by myself and I'm filling the time at the dealership by doing some videos of our new and used motorhomes and this particular one came in just before lockdown and it's a very very nice bit of stock it's a 2017 on a 67 plate Eldis Encore 254 so Eldis are Britain's second biggest motorhome manufacturer and they are now part of the massive German Heimer group um, they've been building motorhomes for an awful long time the Encore is their top of the range range now we are compass dealers compass are the same uh, as Eldis bar the badge and we sell all these vans new today as a compass concerto and uh, they're over 60,000 pounds now this one is uh, an 8,000 mile 67 plate late 2017 Encore 254, so that's the luxury one from uh, from the Explorer Heimer Group, and uh, this one's priced at only 44.95. It's a really good layout. It's a low profile van, as you can see, so it's not got an over cab bed, uh, and it's got a, a really relatively rare but very nice layout of a transverse island bed, which gives you a really nice spacious rear bedroom with a low bed that you can easily get in and out of, and uniquely British in the way it has a twin sofa front lounge. Now it is a four berth, and that twin sofa front lounge has a pair of flip-up seat belted seats underneath which is something Eldis have been using for five or six years now and it lets you do a nice lounge but still have seat belts so it's a four berth probably best as two and occasional guests or sometimes guests but it makes a good size bed at the front and it's a really nice luxury van and it's three and a half ton which means anybody can drive it without c1 on their driving license so the younger people and the people who are pushing 70 don't want to take a medical to keep their c1 entitlement to drive over 3500 kilos this is probably one of the nicest most luxurious spacious vans you can get and keep it at that 3500 kilogram mark so uh, having a look at it it is a misspelt yeah, is it misspelled? I think it's misspelled, Eldis. Uh, I think you've got two Ds and one S, actually. A, a Cordo. It's not an Accordo. It's an Encore 254. Pete, my elderly part-time salesman, always gets the window sheet wrong. So it's an Eldis. Encore 254, 2017 on a 67 plate. It's got an island bed. It's a four berth, four seat belt, three and a half tonner. Peugeot Boxer, two litre manual turbo diesel, actually loads and loads of poke, it's an absolute peach of an engine, you'll also find in the Ford Transit, 130 brake, you can map it up for more power, but this is a light van and it will drive absolutely mustard just like that, only done 8,500 miles, she's 7.4 metres long, 2.35 wide and low profile 2.82 tall, priced at a very competitive 44.995 and that'll come with a new MOT that it's not due yet but we'll give it one, a full engine service, full habitation service and our best in the industry 12 month warranty so let's have a little look around the outside of it so she's a smart looking van on the uh, the newer shape euro 5 um, peugeot boxer chassis drives very very well very light uh, steering very direct stable easy to drive incredibly smooth and economical as well you've got these really smart gray colored sides uh, tinted uh, double glazed windows all round and the panoramic skylight to the front very very good looking van 16 inch wheels for the better ride and uh, very smart graphics you can see the fridge vents there for your large fridge freezer except for cassette toilet dump point and then coming down this side we've got some uh, storage space from the outside where you can put your chairs and things underneath your ta underneath your bed you don't need to carry a table with this one because you've got a freestanding table inside that you can put outside main hook up and a 100 amp hour leisure battery and then a gas locker there for two six kilo or seven kilo calagas bottles or we can fit refillables for those contemplating a long european trip onboard fresh water tanks for around about 90 liters of fresh and waste water and then coming around to the back here you can see this one's got a reversing camera fitted it's also got a two bike bike rack that can be extended for up to four and it's also got a tow bar now a quick word on the tow bar um, previous owner i think he's come from an engineering background fitted the tow bar himself it's not a type approved one it may have to come off to satisfy the mot tester i'm not sure but we will leave it on if possible um, but it is buyer beware on that one but it's there i'd recommend it for carrying bikes but previous owner did actually tow a little trailer i think he was a motorbike racer or one of his kids was from memory i might be wrong on that um, but tow bar will stay on unless we have to take it off 
flue on the back there, uh, that's for Aldi heating. Now Aldi heating, most vans use a gas or mains electric power blown air system, which is fine. Aldi is something you'll see in some of the luxury models and it uh, pumps fluid uh, like a domestic heating system around a radiator network throughout the van. In fact, if we have a look underneath the in the storage locker here, the le <coughs> leisure battery lives there. And this is one of the pipes for the Aldi wet radiator heating system. We've got it on our own van. It's absolutely wonderful. It's a very soft, quiet, ambient heat, and it's like getting into a, a warm bath, really. It's like a domestic heating system. Uh, very, very good. Rear window for the bedroom. Your bedroom's got these big windows and big skylights. So it's a very, very light place to be. Coming around the, uh, the near side there. We've got another bedroom window at the foot of the bed. We've got an external mains point, which is very handy if you're hooked up and you want to power electrical items outside, you can just plug in behind there. Kitchen window, vent points for your factory fitted microwave. We've got a Fiamma F45 full length awning and a digital TV aerial on the roof. So there's nothing much you'd have to add to this. It's even got a gas barbecue point. So if you're a gas barbecuist, that will run from the gas bottles in your gas locker without taking them out. And then we've got another lounge window there. And in the cab, we've got full cab blinds as standard. Very neat. Same with the windscreen as well. We've got a smart Bluetooth stereo system with hands uh, free steering wheel controls and uh, air conditioning, cruise control, mirror mounted, reversing camera monitor, all the nice stuff that you'd want. And only eight and a half thousand miles, so it's not been very busy. Twin swivel cab seats. So we'll go in through the habitation door now. As we open the habitation door, we'll find a fly screen. We'll find another Aldi radiator down there, which will create a curtain of warm air between you and the habitation door. You've got a bin and a window on the door as well. And I think that is a centrally locked door, though don't hold me to that one. As we come in, we can turn to the left towards the front of the van and we'll see your lounge. Now, as I've uh, said, this is an unusual lounge because it is a twin sofa lounge, which is very comfortable. You can swivel your cab seats around, put your feet up there. You've got your TV point and bracket over there. Nice panoramic roof light. Another opening roof light there. Both of those will open. Bits of storage in the sides over the cab and four big storage lockers. Underneath of these seats, there are fold up seat belted seats. All you do is you fold that up there. And then underneath of here, there are two seats which will flip up with crash tested seat belts on which is very neat so you can turn this into a double bed or slide them out and swivel your cab seats around for single beds for your guests um, and then you've got seat belts and you've got a concertina divider there as well which will come across to cut the front off on the back of the van for privacy really nice lighting you've got these ambient spotlights you've got uh, up lighters as well very very cool have another quick look at the cab there you can see it's got all the nice bits and bobs that you'd want in modern times Coming around towards the back of the van, it's in very, very good condition, this van in fairness to it. It's not been heavily used at all. It's really been well looked after. And you can see it's a really nice, very spacious bit of kit with a slightly unusual but very popular layout in fairness. Lots and lots of floor space here so you can get past each other if someone's cooking and a lovely rear bedroom as well. We'll have a little look at the kitchen here. Now, as you come in the door, you've got your mission control control panel that will tell you how much battery power, water power, and then switch your lights on and off. Plenty of light switches to individually switch the lights on and off and the uh, control system for your Aldi wet radiator heating system which is nice and easy to use. Kitchen, proper British vans, you've got an oven, separate grill and on top you've got three gas burners with a metal pot rack and one electric. Above that you've got a microwave and plenty of, uh, plenty of cupboard space as well there, plenty of drawer space for your food, your pots and pans, nice sink with a cover on it and a couple of plug sockets for your kettle. On Encore, you've got the more expensive concertina type blinds and fly screens. And then you've got a big fridge freezer, which is a three-way fridge freezer. So it runs off of gas, mains electric, or your vehicle battery when you're driving. And this is an automatic energy selecting one. So it will sort out whatever power source is best. All you need to do is switch it on and off. And then into the bedroom, which is really the big selling point of this van. You've got a lovely, lovely bedroom at the back. So you've got hers and hers wardrobes either side of the bed with drawers underneath. Very, very smart. In there, you'll see the expansion tank for uh, topping up the Aldi uh, liquid. 
for the radiators, which you don't need to top up very often, but the expansion tank's there if you need to. We've got a nice Eldis sign on the back, which is lit up. And again, up lighters, down lighters, spot lighters, and those two lovely windows from the outside. It's a low bed, it's a wide bed. And uh, if you need more length on it, you simply pull it out. You've still got room to get around the end when it is pulled out. And then you've got a really, really long, big bed. Radiators running across the back of the bed there. And I really like this. You've got this lift up bit there. So you can use that as a dressing table. You can use it to extend your kitchen workspace. Very, very clever. Real nice unit over there with a the TV point. So if you want a bedroom TV, you can put one there. Then another mirrored storage cupboard above it. And overall, a very, very nice, light, roomy place to be. For the claustrophobic motorhomer out there, uh, you won't get a more spacious van than this, in fairness to it. Looking at the bathroom... Just a wet room bathroom, probably not a massive strong point of the van, but for most people who don't actually shower in the van most of the time, which in fairness to it is most people, uh, it makes the best use of space. Hides the wheel arch in there as well. You've got a nice freestanding basin. You've got the shower hose there on a separate one. And you've got a simple curtain that comes across to stop your toilet and that part of the bathroom getting wet. And you've got a... Um, Aldi radiator heated towel rail in there, so your towels are nice and cosy, and a two uh, two door cupboard for all of your shower gels and bits and bobs like that. So it's a nice space, and it's a lovely van. So this is the 2017 on a 67 plate Eldis Encore luxury low profile 254 uh, at Highbridge Caravans Devon branch. Now obviously we are in lockdown at the moment depending on when you're watching the video. This is uh, mid-January we're in lockdown but we are still here uh, working away behind the scenes. We're available for sales and sales inquiries. You can contact us through the Highbridge Caravans website or if you ring up our phones at the Devon branch of Highbridge are diverted to the Somerset branch because they have more people in than us to answer but if you ring up and ask to speak to Devon uh, they will get myself or one of my colleagues to ring you back about uh, this lovely Eldis Encore 254. It's 2017 on a 67 plate. It's priced very well at 44.95. It's got an awning. It's got a bike rack. It's got Aldi wet radiator heating system. It's got a reversing camera, a TV aerial. Uh, it's got a tow bar that may or may not stay on the van. Um, and it's a lovely thing. So Eldis Encore 254, 2017, 44.95 at Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch. Thank you very much. Goodbye.